Shellac is made from a resinous substance called lac, which is secreted by a number of species of lac insects. It is used as a natural primer, sealant, stain, high gloss finish, and as a natural edible glaze. The name shellac comes from the French laconicae, which means lac in thin plates. In the 18th century, the English translation became shell lac, now shortened to shellac. Lac bugs are native to Southeast Asia, particularly India and Thailand, which are the two main hubs for making shellac. Thousands of lac insects colonize the branches of host trees, usually acacia or fig trees, while feasting on the tree's sap. The female lac bugs secrete resin in the form of a cocoon-like tube. This resin is known as lac. During harvesting, the lac-encrusted sticks are cut from the host trees. This is called stick lac, which is the raw material for both shellac and lac dye, a common red pigment similar to cochineal. The stick lac is then scraped of all lac, bark and bugs, and the resulting debris is crushed, then sieved and washed repeatedly. The product that remains is called seed lac, and is left in the sun to dry after the final wash. Traditionally, once dry, the seed lac is used to fill long canvas bags and is then gradually passed in front of a charcoal-fired hearth to melt the lac. By twisting the bag, the melted lac is then squeezed out through the cloth as a filter, leaving behind any remaining tree or insect debris. The resulting lac is then stretched into sheets to make shellac, or pulled into buttons to make button lac. While this traditional method is still used today, there are also more modern commercial methods. One such process uses steam heat, the addition of oxalic acid and titanium dioxide, and employs hydraulic presses. Another method uses alcohol as a chemical solvent to dissolve the lac rather than melting it. The solvent method also allows for a bleached end product and for the removal of the natural wax within the lac. Shellac is often sold dry, though you can buy pre-mixed formulas. However, in its liquid form, it does have a shorter shelf life. No matter what its form, it should be kept in an airtight container and a cool place, as heat and oxidization will shorten its shelf life. Shellac comes in a range of warm colors, ranging from very light blonde to a very dark brown, with many varieties of brown, yellow, orange and red in between. The colour is influenced by the sap of the tree that the lac bug is living on, and by the time of harvest. Shellac naturally contains a small amount of wax. There are pros and cons to having wax present, depending on what the shellac will be used for. For example, if the shellac is being used as a wood primer, and a paint or varnish is going to be applied over the top, then a de-waxed shellac will work best as a waxy shellac will not adhere to the paint or varnish very well. The dried shellac is usually crushed into a powder and dissolved in alcohol to make liquid shellac. It can be used in this form or it may have other additives depending on what it will be used for. It is better to apply multiple thin layers of shellac rather than a few thick layers, particularly while working on wood. This is because thick layers of shellac do not adhere to the substrate or to each other very well, and thus can peel off with relative ease. The concentration or strength of liquid shellac is measured by the pound cut, which refers to the amount, in pounds, of shellac dissolved per gallon of alcohol. For example, one pound of shellac in one gallon of alcohol is one pound cut. Wood finishing is a popular use of shellac. When the dissolved shellac liquid is applied to a piece of wood, it has an evaporative finish, meaning the alcohol in the mixture evaporates, leaving behind a protective film of shellac. Shellac is also food safe, which means that you can apply it to a cutting board or table, and as soon as it has hardened, it can safely be eaten off of. Shellac was once very common to buy anywhere paints or varnishes were sold, but nowadays cheaper and more resistant finishes, such as polyurethane, have almost completely replaced it in wood finishings. However, unlike shellac, these alternative products must be applied over a stain if the user wants the wood to be coloured. Shellac is a common confectionery and pharmaceutical glaze, being used to cover chocolates, chewing gum, nutritional supplements, pills, fruit, and even coffee beans. 
when used in food and confections, shellac is referred to as confectioner's glaze, confectioner's resin, resinous glaze, candy glaze, pure food glaze, and natural glaze, and carries the food additive number E904. Food grade shellac is usually bleached, unless its natural colour isn't important to the final product. It is insoluble in water, so coating an item with shellac helps to keep it from drying out or getting wet. It also adds a glossy shine. Due to shellac's acidic properties, shellac-coated pharmaceutical tablets can be useful in creating a timed enteric or colonic release. This means that the pill wouldn't break down in the stomach acids, instead waiting until it reached the intestines or colon. In spite of the name, shellac nails do not use shellac from lac insects. The name merely stems from the term shellac being used to describe anything hard and shiny.